first time in the history of humanity, we all share the same situation. Uh, we decided to not to get uh, too uh, bluesy uh, and not to get uh, uh, too bored. And we decided to react very fast. And we wanted to be, to be present uh, with our artists and for our artists and for the community, the friends, the collectors, the art lovers that already follow us since many years. So that's why we decided to, to launch uh, uh, this program of uh, exhibitions online. So they have not a grand pretension. Uh, the, the objective for us, the goals, uh, were to, to keep the conversation alive with, with our artists, like with Joel. And so we contacted uh, with many of our artists and Joel was the first one, in fact, to say, of course, I do a show and that, this, that is what I'm proposing. I'm proposing a show which is titled From Home. So Joel. Can you tell us first about the title, your mood, this show? Give us uh, some ideas about it. So hello, everybody. Um, good afternoon. Bon, 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 bonjour. Um, it, um, it's really, it's really interesting, actually, as an experience to to start this um, to start this uh, this thing. Uh, and I'm really happy that, uh, that uh, there's a lot of people from Lugano to Milano to Paris to Rino and every, every, from everywhere. So hi to everybody. Hello, Sabrina, also. Um, well, uh, actually, I, I, I'm, I'm always telling a story. Hello? 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 Isabel? Are you talking to me? Someone is talking to me? Okay, I can continue. So, well, um, I prefer actually to, to tell, I think, the story. So I came back exactly um, from Sydney, exactly like 10 days ago, no, like uh, almost like uh, 10 days ago. And uh, as we all know, the situation was really weird. And uh, when I arrived in Paris and I found everything like very depressive. So I just got this idea like, um, why don't we make actually um, a, a project, uh, something that we can, that we can make actually at home, uh, something uh, which is related to this uh, very strange temporality and this very strange situation. Um, something, something that uh, we, that actually we don't need, you know, like a, a huge studio, something without any, any complications, something any, without any, any uh, I don't know, companies or anything, but really something made at home and, uh, and something uh, also homemade. So, so I just, I said to, to Hal and Sabrina, like, let's do it, let's try, let's try, and it, it will give me some energy and also some desire to, to create some, to create some few things. So then I start actually creating some, some, some objects. I think most of you are already on the website and uh, you can see, I think we have like a, about like a 17 or 16 uh, pieces. I don't know if they are pieces or works or objects because some of them are like founded objects, but I just use my hand. And this is something very important because I think since many years, I forgot actually this idea of like working with my hands, spending times spending time in front of an artwork, um, spending time at home and uh, creating actually a new desires and, uh, and new emotions. Um, I think that's, that's an introduction, but then we can talk about, if you have some few questions, we can talk about uh, some, some pieces, some works, and uh, yeah, Sabrina, I give you... you can well, I would, like, in fact, uh, I would like, in fact, maybe we, we've, been, uh, we've been maybe a little too fast, uh, assuming that all the people that would be... Uh, with us in that room would know your work. Um, so Joel, you are an artist uh, uh, from Madagascar, born there, and you grew up between Madagascar, well, in Madagascar, and now you live between Madagascar and Paris. You have been representing the National Pavilion of Madagascar during the last uh, Venice Biennial. Um, and uh, maybe I, I think it would be interesting, uh, when, I, when I speak about your practice, I like to say that, um, there is, in few concepts, we can define your work. Uh, on one side, you talk about emotions since ever. It's more than 20 years that you talk about emotions in your practice. Um, and you, uh, you are, for me, like a great researcher of the black color. Um, and and that I like to, to, to have this very simple definition of you. But, uh, but maybe you can um, 
you can extend or expand a little more my simple definition of you. Okay. Um, yes, I agree. Well, it's a, I'm fine with this idea of emotion, and I think you are totally right. But if I can add something on this idea of, of emotion, I think it's not only about the emotion, but I think it's a, it's a research. It's a research about what is an emotion and the materiality of the emotion. And actually, when I have to define my work, I'm always saying that it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a long exercise. Uh, it's a research about the idea of the emotion, you know, the emotion exactly uh, right now. Um, uh, what is, yeah, what is an emotion right now? What can be the materiality on, in, in our emotion right now? Uh, how can we share actually a kind of a universal emotion also? I think it's something very important to talk about, uh, to talk about that. And uh, yeah, um, the diversity of the emotion also. Uh, this is something uh, this is something important then black i think well black is a color but black is also a non color so so i think it's why i'm very fascinated by this uh, by this element uh, but i think it's also important to say that when i'm when i'm when i'm building when i'm making a, a black pieces black piece or kind of a black thing it's on, on this idea on this research of black there is nothing uh, it, actually it's it, it, it's, uh, it's it's a very long story uh, because to make black, you need actually a lot of colors. Uh, to find the right black, you need a different combination. Uh, to find the, 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 the nice black, you, you, you have to use a different texture. You have to work also on a different, um, on a different, on a different, with different lights and many things. So it's just uh, maybe, yeah, it's, 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 it's complex, but it's also, I think it's also our life. It's also our mood. Mm. Sabrina? Well, your um, this uh, so what is your current mood for this show from home? Um, from home. Well, what is my current mood? I'm I'm not I'm not on depression, so it's nice to say that because I'm not. Uh, no, I'm not on depression. I think it's um, it's it's not really easy. Uh, especially like uh, every day you got uh, uh, when you got actually a, a very strange uh, some very bad news like everything is postponed or something is cancelled but but well um, we are all trying to stay alive and then I'm you know I'm organizing my life in a very different way like I'm going for example you know I, I just came back I bought some food and I'm cooking for example you know I'm cooking a lunch I'm cooking a dinner and between that you know I'm working and uh, and then for the those pieces are kind of a, uh, are pieces that I made between uh, between the kitchen and, and and the flat, and sometimes I'm going to the studio because my studio is not really far. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's 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 a, it's, a, it's an another approach of life. But the main thing I think it's not the current mood. It's more about what will happen after this, and I think this is a real question that we have to question ourselves. We have to question the word. We have to ask the word that what will happen. Are, are, are this the main thing? For the opening now, uh, what we are doing, or do we still have to to to, to make a real piece in the space and everything? Uh, do do we have a, do we have to create actually a new a new way of uh, of uh, of meeting? I don't know, but for me the question is there, and it's one part of my of my practice that where is actually where is where is exactly the situation of the emotion in this kind of in this this kind of situation? And uh, in the show from home. Uh, so maybe Marta, uh, you can share with all of us your screen, so we can go through some work. And I want, I would like you to tell us a little bit more about about some of the pieces of the show. Okay. If Marta, Marta, is... Marta we are waiting for you. <laughs> yes. Give me just one second, please. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So you can scroll. The, you can. You can. Yeah. You can scroll down. Um, I have to see. Yes, so we can start with this uh, with this first piece. Um, the title is called um, uh, "Taste of the Bittersweet: Red Lipstick and Ink." So I made this. I, I, well, I didn't make any drawings, any painting since many years. Uh, really, it's uh, it's real. Like I, I didn't, I didn't have time. I didn't have the desire. Also, you know, to spend maybe like uh, four hours in front of a white paper. So I got this. I I decided to make it, but I but I but I didn't add any color. 
I just had this black, uh, this black ink. So actually, I found this very this uh, this sample that I got, I think, from one shop. Uh, it's it's a Chanel lipstick. So then I start actually to use this red, uh, this red work, and uh, with this uh, with this ink. This piece actually uh, is related for me, like uh, it's very personal, but it's related. Uh, uh, it's really to this show that I did in Milan, I think like uh, three years ago, uh, called the uh, Chanson de Mater Lointaine. So there is, there is also on the work some connection actually um, uh, from some previous work or maybe some work that I will do, will do later also. Yeah, you can go Marta because I'm not going to explain everything. It's so, yes. that all these works, sorry Joel, that I interrupt you. It's important maybe to say that all these works, you, you have been creating them uh, from home, and uh, and it's uh, many artists or all of the artists right now that are confined uh, mm -hmm. like you. Uh, you don't have access uh, to your to your usual supplies, uh, mm -hmm. to the materials to create, and that's also a big question in the art world right now. How mm -hmm. artists can keep working, and how we will see how they keep working, and how they can. Uh, sustain their practice in a way or challenge themselves. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so so it's what well I, I'm, I'm, you're totally right, Sabrina. It's what, it's one of the reason why actually you know I use some tools that I found at home. I didn't create you know I didn't I didn't I didn't buy any paintings. I didn't buy anything because it's impossible to buy anything. Even if you want to order, even the delivery are very complicated. So we are going on the second on this uh, on these two series on these two works. They are like uh, actually they are made with some some crates so I, I don't know which work they're coming from somewhere so i was listening actually this to interesting music which i think fits very well on our mood on the moment the first one is actually is coming from uh, from jacques brel um so for, for for the one who understand french actually uh it's a uh, it's a valse you say valse in in english yes it's a long valse with a thousand in a thousand times so but in this temporality is saying that we can actually uh we can build something we can build a love story we can build uh we can build uh, a book we can build something and on the other side it's the lyrics actually from uh, from nina simon when she's uh, when she's singing uh, feel, I'm, I'm feeling good but i think it's something that we have to say to ourselves like every day that we are feeling good because we are preparing actually a new world we are preparing a new day and the new well i don't know when is the new day but the, i hope it's coming soon yeah it's uh it's uh, the text is uh, on it's it's an ink actually on uh, on a plywood yeah how do you do you think as an artist uh, about uh, tomorrow after that mm. what what is the world after that i mean as an artist uh, like you and um, I mean, definitely right now we, we, we can all agree on that this, mm -hmm. especially uh, for artists or um, people working in, in the art, uh, traveling, the moving, uh, the world is, uh, keeps spinning, but we are not allowed to, to spin around it as we used, to do, we used to do. So how do you think uh, this affects uh, the life of an artist? You know, Sabrina, uh, I was always convinced that uh, <coughs> my work, on my life, and our, on our world, like right now, it's important to have a different geographies. And it's one of the reasons, actually, why I, 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 I still have for the moment, like uh, three places, uh, Paris, there's one actually also in the middle of France, in Manuel Etrange, and then Madagascar. So the real question for me about tomorrow is this situation. And I think you already start talking about that. How are we going to travel again? Uh, and, and especially for myself, like right now, for example, you know, like uh, uh, I closed the studio in Paris like uh, two weeks ago, but a week ago, uh, Madagascar, also, I had to close my studio in Madagascar. So that's a real question. So I don't have any answer actually from your question, like what will happen tomorrow? But the real question is now that how about the geography? How about, uh, uh, how, how can we travel? Even even myself personally, like like right now, for the next following months, I will I will not be allowed actually to go to Madagascar. So how am, how am, how am I, I don't know how I'm gonna do this kind of thing. So it's a it's a real question. It's a question. I, I think it's not just um, a question for an artist. I think it's a, we are talking about geography. We are talking about politics also. We are talking about the idea of the borders. What will happen with the borders? For example, when I was in Sydney and when I when I when I was flying to Singapore, and it's very interesting when. 
and some people say that, oh, you know, if you, if you were in France like 14 days ago, you were not allowed to come in. So it's a real question. So are we, uh, are, is it, are, are we, are we, is it okay for us to travel with a Malagasy passport? Or uh, for me, I'm sorry, is it okay for me to travel with a Malagasy passport or with a French passport? I don't know, but it's a real question that what will be, actually, what, what, what will be the new borders? How are we gonna deal with all of these things? Yeah. And this is, it's an interesting, uh, an interesting concept, uh, this idea of space and uh, time and our, our relation to it. And it's something that you have been always exploring in many ways in, in your work. Mm -hmm. uh, this idea of uh, what we think um, to see, what we think to believe or to feel. Um, maybe in, in that uh, show, From Home, uh, you can tell us about uh, the piece that most uh, is representative of, uh, of this situation, your situation. Um, I think the songs are important uh, in terms of material because they are really like made with a founded, you know, with a with a founded material and then with a very simple ink and then there is also a song in, uh, a song inside, and then uh, Marta, if you can scroll down, uh, there is like two pieces that I really like. They are very minimalist, actually. Um, well, you can go you can go down. Actually, it's the hammer. And uh, the second one is this uh, kitchen uh, tools that I found in Madagascar. So you know when I was when, when I when I when I said something about you know Madagascar, what will happen with Madagascar? What will happen with my relationship? You know, with the planes and traveling and going somewhere. And those objects are actually are like founded objects from Madagascar. Here we are. I found them in Madagascar in my last trip um, uh, last uh, I don't know like a month ago. Um, and I would like to say thank you. I'm sure that uh, uh, Yasemin and Birol de Mantec Phoenix, my friends, are there because the hammer actually we found it together. So yeah, for me, for me, they are like really important because on the other side, on the left side, uh, when we are talking about the kitchen, I think the kitchen is something very important in a, in, 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 in a home, in a, in, a, in a home, and especially right now, I think everybody is cooking. I think it's very interesting because. Um, I, I, well, we are writing emails, we are doing chats and everything, but I think we are all cooking and I think it's very interesting. The temporality of the, of the kitchen is also very interesting. It's why actually I put this, those pieces, uh, those founded objects from Madagascar and the title of the piece is called uh, uh, Kitchen Exercise in Three Chapters. And on the other side, uh, this hammer, uh, which is actually for me, there is two symbolic. The first one is like, uh, you can do something at home. You can repair, you can do some, some, some other things with this kind of object. But I think the hammer also is, uh, is, 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 uh, is very symbolic, you know, the power, uh, the hope. Uh, when you see some flags, when you see even the communism, for example, you know, the, the, the hammer is there. So, so for me, those objects are very important. I didn't, I didn't touch them. It's really a choice. Uh, but, uh, but I think it's they are important, and then on that, then there, and there's there are more pieces around. But uh, yes, those one are contributed very important. Yes. Well, you have you you mentioned the hope. Uh, hope is uh, especially maybe the I don't know the mood or the emotion that most uh, is transversal in your work, and uh, it's the the word that I would relate to the black color you use. Um, in many ways, uh, most of your last project in the in the last uh, maybe two three years, they talk about the idea of the horizons, mm -hmm. uh, the idea of um, um, a dark uh, landscape or a dark panorama in which, in the end, we can all find some kind of hope and light. Mm -hmm. So, what what is uh, what is hope for you? Marta, can you go on this piece, uh, these paintings that I, that I made? But I, because I, I think it's better to, to talk, you know, to talk with an image in front of us. Um, the title of the piece, uh, it's this one. Yeah, can you show the piece? Uh, it's, it was just before you are going too, too, too fast. Uh, for me, I think this is, if I have to answer your question, I think this is, this is hope. Um, the, title of the, the title of the piece is uh, uh, Exercice de peintre pour un noir irréprochable. Um, a painter exercise for, uh, for, the, for the perfect black. 
It's, uh, the, it's the title of the piece. So when you're asking me about, you know, what, what is hope for me, I think that this is hope. Like, a, like a, when you see the piece, it's totally black, but actually between the lines, you still have something. But the, um, the space between actually are the elements that, where we can recreate something. The space between are the, are the hopes. The space between are the playgrounds. The space between are actually the, 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 yeah, the, 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 the little light that can appear, even even if everything are totally dark and totally, yeah, and totally dramatic. Um, so I think I don't have a, a perfect answer for hope. I prefer to give you a, a visual answer for hope. Well, that's perfect. So um, let's see maybe if, uh, if uh, we have some, some more questions. Uh, and we can, we, when we talked about uh, this idea of broadcast, we, we wanted Joel and I uh, to, to keep it very spontaneous. Mm -hmm. And uh, we felt, in fact, that uh, more than uh, planning how we would go, we would say, okay, we, we would just talk like friends and, and just be, be spontaneous. And that's the, the, the main feeling, I think, or the, the main idea of our life right now. It's that we, we cannot really foresee tomorrow. We just, okay. we, can, we just we can invite uh, maybe Marta you can open you can remove the screen and then we can invite someone to ask some question and to 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 be with us also yeah someone no <laughs> Marta is also oh. broadcasting on Facebook okay, okay so no. Marta will let us know what's okay. what's going on there or so. Okay, so maybe so while we are we are waiting for for a question from from the audience, um, maybe I'm curious to know um, how how is it um, how is it for you uh, to be uh, exactly from home? And uh, there is also it's very interesting because many of your work relate exactly to this situation. What is home? And where Sorry, Sabrina. I was reading a question actually, and then you asked me a question at the same time. There is, well, there, there is, a, um, there is a very interesting question, in fact, by mm -hmm. Timothy. How important is creativity during this time? That's brilliant. Yes, it's brilliant. It's brilliant, but it's, very, it's also very heavy. Um, creativity is always important. Uh, and it's more important because, uh, as I said before, it's, it's for me, it, because it's, it, it, it's the only way actually, it's a little bit dramatic, maybe to survive and uh, to have a normal temporality also. If we don't have creativity, I think I'm going to spend, you know, like uh, two weeks in my bed, I think. So it's important. It's important to, to, to be creative because it's the only way to survive. It's the only way to, to yeah, to... to to, to, to stay alive. It's interesting because even I think I had a discussion with Timothy and when Timothy told me that uh, like from now, now he's writing, he's making some drawings. Uh, when I went to the supermarket and it's very interesting because there is no, there is no eggs, there is no sugar anymore. There is no flavor anymore. So I think, you know, the people are cooking, they're making cakes. So it's interesting also, you know, this kind of situation. Everybody's talking about, you know, the, the toilet paper, but I hate this kind of thing. But, but I think the people are really creative. And I think food is, is quite interesting also on this idea of creativity. Do you think your practice is going to change after what we are all going through? Uh, hello, Virginie. Thank you for the beautiful question and thank you for being with us. Um, yes, of course. And, and uh, actually, this, uh, this experimentation that I did, you know, uh, the 16 pieces that I did from, for this show, they are all an experimentation uh, and I, I will go somewhere with them. Uh, for example, when you see the, the small embroideries, this kind of, uh, I don't know the, the, the word in, in, in English, but this applique, when I'm sewing some ribbons actually on top of a, of a, of a canvas, I think I will keep this, uh, this kind of thing. Uh, yes, for sure, uh, something will be different. Uh, the, materi the materiality of the work will be different. Um, uh, the practice not totally different, but but, but again, when I, when I'm when I'm when I'm working with this idea of the emotion, I'm sure that there will be something different on this idea of the emotion. Uh, I'm I'm going to talk about something. Um, I'm, I'm I'm still on this question of, of Virginie. Uh, we are talking about death right now, and and it's really dramatic what what what's happening around and and everything. So so. 
I think this idea of death is something that you have to put on the table. So what is what what, what do we have to do with this? What we what we what kind of emotion? we have to express now especially when someone actually you know can go to the funerals and everything so so it's a real question so you know when you're asking what on my practice i think it's not only on my practice i think it will be for everything even buying a bottle of milk even like sending a letter uh even you know i don't know when you go uh on a bus i don't know i think we, we, we everything will be totally different Okay, so I have an, oh, a lot of questions. Hello, yes, and am Bihal, my tech team. I'm so happy that you are here. As you see, I use the hammer for that. So the question is, how do you perceive time, this extended time? Um, long and too short, if I have to be sincere. Long because, um, long because it's long, because I never spent like two weeks at home, you know, and in the same place since many years. Uh, I was not because most of the time when I'm even when I'm traveling, I'm going like for one, I'm going one week somewhere else and one week from somewhere else and somewhere else. And to, when I'm saying too short, I think um, it would be interesting to have this kind of period, you know, like maybe every year, to to be concentrated again, uh, to be yeah, to have time, you know, to 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 talk with some friends. There is something very interesting, uh, like since two weeks. Uh, I'm spending some time with some friends on the phone, someone who never called me. I never spent like one hour with them. So it's why I'm saying that it's too, maybe it's too short. Thank you very much, Virginie. Hello, Nathalie. Do you have a question? Nathalie is from Monaco. She just wrote there. Sabrina, you can ask some questions to Sabrina also, because I think there is another question. Yes. No, well, because I'm doing the show and I think, you know, well, I have to say many things about the show, but I think we also can talk about the situation of the art scene. And as you as a gallerist, you as a person actually, who's also like uh, dealing with the art world in general, in Spain, for example, I think it's also interesting to, to talk a little bit about this. Well, I, I think, uh, yeah, there is uh, the, the question um, that Timothy did do you, um, which was about uh, how important creativity is during this time. Um, maybe it's the one I, which I think is it's a very important uh, creativity in, in not only in time of crisis, but um, art for me it's uh, the potential uh, to create, um, and uh, I do believe that art right now. And culture in general, it's uh, maybe what keep people uh, sane, uh, whether they are watching exhibitions online, uh, video art, or even a theater or a movie. Uh, culture for me is very, very important. And uh, I really think that right now, a lot of people, a lot of countries realize that the cultural content is really important for the human being. And I would say that, unfortunately, we don't still hear from Spain, have the feeling that um, the organizations or authorities really understand what it means, uh, what it means uh, to not protect uh, art and culture. And, uh, but I always think that art should be in the life of everyone, even uh, since very young because it's the ability for people to think uh, outside the box. Uh, for you, the black color that you use so much, it's not a sad color. It's the color of life. It's the, it's the color of feeling something. Um, and, but it's the opposite that usually it is um, black as another symbology for the many, uh, of the, for the most of the world. So, so for me, creativity and art especially allows us to think differently and so to be innovative. And in term, in, when crisis come, whether it is social, political, uh, climate change, whatever, sustainability, uh, that's what we need. We need to be creative, we need to be innovative. And only if you have been really able to be in contact with culture, culture, art, these are the kind of um, field that can teach you that. 
So that's what I would say on, on creativity. And there is, I think... Uh, we have some questions, like Carole. Uh, hello, Carole. So very interesting. You saw the exhibition in Lille. Wow. Uh, she's asking a question, actually, about the work, that, a series of work that I did called The Labyrinth of Passions. Um, so there are different versions of the Labyrinth of Passions. The first one, actually the biggest one that I did was in Madrid and uh, for Arco when I won the prize and uh, in 2016. And then, yeah, then are so many, yeah, then there are some few works and, uh, and uh, of course the, the last biggest one was actually in, in, in Venice. Uh, the, the concept behind, well, I think the title is quite clear, the Labyrinth of Passions. Uh, now I maybe have a different explanation about this work because I'm saying that it's a kind of a metaphor of our life. So the metaphor is actually, it's a book. It's why it's made with a paper. So it's a big book where we have actually all of our passion, uh, good, bad, uh, nice or horrible, I don't know. But, uh, but, but I like this idea of, of passion because I think when we are talking about passion, we are not only talking about, you know, like, uh, it, it, it's not, I don't want to say that it's not frivolous, but when we are talking about passion, we are all talking about, you know, desire, we are also talking about melancholy, but we are also talking about, you know, some ideas of, we are talking about politics. Uh, I'm always saying that if you really need the power, actually, you need passion for that. So, yeah, so it's a kind of a big metaphor about passion and everything is inside, it's why it's so big and it's why it's have to, you have to be inside. It's actually, it's why the pieces um, on one part is very fragile because it's made with paper, but actually when they're all together, it becomes very strong. Uh, Sabrina, you have a question for you at Basel Hong Kong Online. From Henri, oh, Henri, hello, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> so how was how okay, you can answer that. Um, so we think when well, it just closed, in fact, uh, on Wednesday, it, it was uh, on until Wednesday night, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think it was a great initiative. Uh, we have to, to think that uh, when Art Basel Hong Kong uh, was planned to, to be online, uh, it was, um, we were still very okay in the rest of the world. The current situation, uh, we haven't said the word since we started this, uh, this talk. Uh, the coronavirus, it was just in Asia and it seemed so far away. Um, so it was a great initiative. Uh, still, when they launched it, we couldn't uh, foresee that the rest of the world would collapse uh, also at the same time uh, under this virus. So um, the current mood, uh, especially on that week of the opening, uh, of Art Basel uh, was not into uh, spending, uh, collecting art. Uh, still, uh, there was a lot of traffic. Uh, it's been interesting to, to be part of it. And, but I, I, we all know, I mean, the people who have been involved that uh, the tool was made uh, very quickly. So in a way that, um, it's not perfect. It was not perfect and some details um, can be uh, performed or uh, done better for the user to have uh, a good experience. Um, it's very difficult to, to propose a, an online exhibition. Um, even the, the work, maybe it's a question that I will ask Joel, but uh, even the work that, uh, that Joel has, uh, has done, he knew that these works uh, were being showcased, will be showcased online. So um, I don't know if, uh, if you took that in mind or if you, if you had some limitations, Joel, uh, in the sense that uh, on our side as gallerists, we, we still want to have shows, real shows where we can uh, be present and, uh, and feel the artwork. Uh, some work will do very well to be online and some of us, they will they might really need to have the presence, the physicality of the situation. I don't know. Uh, we, don't, we still don't have the technology. So to answer Henry, I think it was, it was great uh, to have this opportunity. Uh, it was a great um, democratic way of being present in a fair because everybody was in the front row, literally. <laughs> there was no front row, back row, middle row. Uh, but the technology is still not ready for, uh, I think, 
for us to, to have a, a great experience of art. Uh, I mean, at least for an art fair to be online. Okay, so we are moving on. Hello, Marianne. Nice to have you here. Marianne MC, who is a curator. We are collaborating soon. Well, I hope it's going to work. Uh, well, it's going to work, I'm sure. Uh, Marianne is asking a very interesting question. Do you think that artists can enable us to see an alternative future where reason sees none? Wow, it's, um, it's, uh, it's complicated. I, I think I prefer, you know, Marianne, to take your, 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 this word called alternative. Um, I think we don't know anything about the future for the moment. And I think it's not just in the art scene. I think no one knows exactly what will happen in the future. So I think we have to create different alternatives. Um, I don't know if it's, it, will, it will come between, you know, some, some collaboration between artists and artists, galleries and gallerists, or, or curators and curators, or I don't know, but, but or maybe we can build another, another, another element on this, uh, on this very established art, uh, art system. But, but for sure, I think we have to find a different alternatives. Um, you know, for me, like, I think like in Europe, for example, like right now, I think we are still okay. And I think we still have, you know, some institution and everything. But my real question right now, because I'm also coming from Madagascar, that, um, that what will happen with this kind of country, for example, and especially, you know, the arts in there. Um, I'm engaged actually with one foundation right now in Madagascar that I'm that are we that we just uh, open actually the space like in February and uh, and now we, we we just closed actually the space and and uh, yes and 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 we have to find another alternative because on 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 one point we are we can't open the space and then the other side actually there is no technology like for example the things that we are doing now it's okay it's fine because we are in Madrid and I'm in Paris and it's okay but like in Madagascar what would be the question so so I think we really have to create new alternatives it's not solutions but alternatives means a different different combinations different uh, different situations, different way to show art, even even creating a different elements, different mediums. I don't know. Yes, it's important. Carol, and yes, art is definitely keeps me mentally sane. Great, uh, Robert. Positive. Let's stay positive. Antoine, Antoine. Hello, Antoine. Do you think you will keep showing your art online like today? Uh, by that, I mean showing this as many people as possible. Yes, uh, definitely yes, and I think it's not it's not the first time. Uh, I think with all my galleries and with all the, the, the with all the, the tools that we already have, like right now, for social media and different elements, I, I did it already. But maybe now it's important to, to to push it a little bit and to yes to create something you know for for yeah for for something that that's why to be digital, of course. Sabrina, you have a question for you. From well, yeah, I know. I, I keep that one for later. <laughs> no, okay. no, but I wanted to say something uh, also to the to the question of uh, it was uh, about uh, about showing your your art online. Um, okay. I want to give a, a fact. Um, well, first of all, uh, doing things online it's great as a complement, as you were saying, Joel. Combination. It's mm -hmm. not. We don't have to find a solution, but just alternative and combination. Um, everything is not black and everything is not white, as you say many times, Joel. Um, but uh, the thing is that uh, we, we opened uh, uh, three days ago now, um, uh, an, a show of Dagoberto, an artist of the gallery. And uh, in 24 hours, we had uh, 1,400 people uh, being able to access the video piece. I don't know yet for Joel, but uh, it will be probably mm, more or less the same or even more. Um, but it's true that it's quite incredible. It's true that the conditions maybe uh, it's not, you are not in a virtual room when you are visiting Joel's show. Uh, you, it's not a 3D fancy website. But still, I'm, I'm very happy because in the end, people can access the information and we can, we can share. And then it's the, the start of a conversation, maybe for many people that are watching, discovering Joel, discovering our gallery. And I really, really, am, I, I defend that idea that art is about people and art, it's an ongoing conversation between people. And art is very inclusive. 
and internet it's maybe the way and this situation that really can help us to really um, be inclusive in the sense that uh, you are um, i don't remember from where you are antoine but whether you are in paris whether you are a collector or not you are here and you're having this conversation with us and us with you so so that's the great things of internet. And regarding the question of mental clinic, which is like, what would be your dream gallery if the system collapsed? Uh, I'm feeling uh, uh, like earthy care, you know, <laughs> when I'm reading this question. Well, uh, I don't know, because I, I really don't know. What I can say is that the gallery, we started it in 2011. And uh, I mean, the first show was in 2011 and we really uh, started onto the project in 2010. 2010 in Spain, it was already deep crisis. Um, no galleries were already closing, a lot had closed, not only in Spain, in many other cities and other capitals. Uh, but the challenge in Madrid is, was also a different art scene. There was no room, no space and no audience. Uh, for African art or uh, Middle Eastern art for global South artists. So the program I, I have and I defend. Um, so in a way, I, I, won't, I wouldn't say that I feel like I am like in 2010, but uh, I think we, we were already in 2010 in a, in a very strange and weird situation where everybody was telling me, are you crazy? Like, why are you opening a gallery? So um, my dream gallery would be, uh, well, if I don't know about the system. Uh, the system was already collapsed in 2010 and we managed to produce beautiful exhibition and to present amazing shows, uh, to work with amazing artists. Uh, I just hope that we can keep doing that. Um, sharing amazing exhibitions, having a lot of fun with our artists because it's uh, this is what it is a lot of fun uh, when we work with our artists, uh, building the, ex the exhibitions together, and uh, even if uh, if it's with a screen in, in between us. So I'm, I don't have a better answer. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. And we have people from Madagascar, a lot of people. Well, from hello, hello, friends from Madagascar. Uh, hello. There was also someone who just connected from Bahrain, which, which is very actually, it's very nice. There's a, it's a very interesting question from Elena. Hello, Elena. Nice to have you here. Also, she's asking that uh, can I comment the dichotomy of isolation vs the need to connect that we all experience uh, that we're experimenting right now. Um, well, <laughs> I can comment. But this is, this is, we talk about actually, you know, like showing the artwork on the internet, like on uh, the, the digital pieces and, and the real pieces. So I think we, the word is made with like two things, uh, black and white, life and death and uh, absence and presence, isolation and connection. So, so if I have to comment, this is the, this is my comment. And then, uh, well, Anira is asking me that what, what is my antidote for sentimental solitude today? Well, this is, uh, this is a real question. Um, and then someone is also asking me something about this uh, gene, this antidote that I did. Uh, well, I don't know if someone used the gene uh, during this period, but maybe it can help. Of course, you know, like having a, a sip of a gene is always uh, a gene or wine or, or, or something else can help. Um, but I, I'm, 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 I'm going to say that, well, no, that it's, not, it's definitely not alcohol. I think, you know, uh, creativity. I think this show for me is the antidote. Uh, it's really, it was an antidote, you know, to, 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 to forget the time and to, to be part of something and to create something. Uh, for the moment, I, I just create like six in pieces. Maybe, you know, maybe I, until, until the end of, until the end of April, maybe I will do more. I don't know. But, uh, but yes, creativity actually is the sentimental solitude. Uh, the project that I did about the gene actually is a collaboration that I did with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with a company called uh, Conquerant Spirit. 
And um, I'm just giving you the recipe because the, the gin is a gin. And uh, I, I actually, I designed the bottle and I also designed the label. But I also uh, designed actually the taste of the gin. So the taste is maybe for actually with two things. Even, to, even if we have to talk about geography right now, it's complicated. It's made actually in two geographies. The first one is Madagascar. So I've made uh, one taste is actually it's made with uh, the white paper from Madagascar. And the second one is made, uh, I don't know the name of this yellow flowers. It's called Jancian in French um, uh, from my countryside in, in, in France. So it's a combination of a different things. And it's, uh, it's uh, yes, it's a nice antidote to forget <laughs> but well, maybe you have to try. I don't know, Carole. Thank you for the sparkling stars, Mental Clinic. More questions, guys? So I haven't been collecting. Marta, do you have some more questions on, on the other side? Because we are broadcasting in, in other, other platforms also. No, no questions on Facebook yet. That's if nice. someone, actually, if someone wants to ask a question like on live, on a video, it's also possible. I think it's also nice to see some faces and not only text. You all just to say hi to everybody. <laughs> it's also possible. Who wants to say something? Well, we have, um... I'm sure I'm just checking if we answered all the questions, which were a lot, in fact, much, much more than what I thought would be. Can you tell us about your inspiration in general, especially during this time? <laughs> okay, everything. But, but you know, that the, the question was already there, like, uh, well, it's always there. I think for all the artists, you know, we, everybody's always, always asking like, what's your inspiration? So my inspiration is everything. And actually when I'm, when I'm, when I, when I'm taking a metaphor about this idea of everything, I'm always taking uh, a city. I think in a city you have many things. You have uh, smells, you have sounds, you have noses, you have life, you have death, you have cars, you have architectures and everything. So now it's a little bit over because actually, you know, I can go in the city, I can go anywhere. So the inspiration actually is everything at home, like everything, the space, uh, the tools, the music, uh, the smells, the, the founded objects, the, the things that I forgot, even my hands, as I told you before, uh, the emotions that I forgot also, books, this is something very important, um, like right now. So yes, we have a question. Marie Cécile, hello. <laughs> oh, Montagnier wants to show the few the pink face. Are you okay? Marie Cécile, hello. Nice to see you. Are you the is asking whether you are going to start again the sentimental products and he is saying hello to everyone. Hello, are you Dele? Hello, Marie Cécile. Well, uh, sentimental products. Sentimental clinic. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You can show your pink face. Yes, so, so hello, Mental Clinic, how are you? <laughs> hello, everyone. There is. Just to show you our face and our pink makeup, and <laughs> <For you. laughs> that's all. I, I, I think it's important to say that uh, actually Yasemin and Bihol, the Mental Clinics are very different. I think we met since how many years now? Like, uh, I yes. don't know. Maybe 19? We were born. No, we were we were born together. Let's say that now. because we had two. <laughs> we were two old. So yes. So they they're also artists, and we 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 work together. We collaborate together. We cooked together. We made yeah. many things together. Many things oh, together. Shop together. Shop together. Shop together. Shop together. together. <laughs> uh, so 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 yeah. It's very nice to have you here, and thank you for the questions, and thank you for the pink face. It's nice. It's very nice. It's very no, cool. it's it's very important to show yourself also in these times. That's why, you know, we need people to see us. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you for, for giving us this platform to be visible. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yo, stay, stay, stay there. Don't, don't go. Huh? So no, I'm going to answer Ayodele. Ayodele is, is actually one of my youngest collector because I think he's like a two years old or something like that. And uh, Ayodele is asking why I'm going to, to start again the sentimental products. Um, well, for the moment, I don't know, but I think soon. And I think sent sentimental products is, is going to be one of the antidote actually 
of this uh, this period also because uh, even like this product, I didn't use some very luxurious actually material and not something very precious. So I think it's important maybe to start, I don't know, maybe in September or later during the year. To you start can you explain maybe it. what are the sentimental products? Sorry, Sabrina? Can you explain maybe what okay. uh, sentimental so, so, products? Sentimental products is really coming from uh, the idea of Marcel Duchamp of the ready-made. So um, I'm collecting some objects from every day. So I'm giving them actually a new names, a new value. The value is not about the money. The value is not about the materiality of the objects, but it's more about the emotion of the product or of the of the of the object. So it's why I'm giving them actually the new names. So so yes, I think it's it can be sentimental products can be one of the alternative of this very sad moment, and it can. And the uh, the issue also on this uh, of this thing. So let's. Ideally, you have to wait until uh, until the end of the year. Let's say that. Yes. Uh, Yanko, hello. How are you? So I can wait. So maybe this question has already asked. Hello, Yanko. What do you hello. Use? Hi. Hello. Nice to see you here. <laughs> nice to see you too. Yanko is a very good friend. Yanko is a journalist, a critic also. But do you think that the lack of real contact with audience is going to affect your art? If so, in which way? Wow, wow. Uh, we are all affected already, uh, Yanko, for sure. And, uh, and actually, there was some previous question. This was interesting that how actually, you know, the period are going to change my practice. So we were talking about this idea of alternative also. So, so, I, 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 they, for the moment, I don't have a specific word about that, but of course, something will happen later. And uh, but but I think you know, like I don't know, like in Spain, for example, you were like locked since two weeks. In France, also we're locked since two weeks. So I think for the moment, we are we have a lot of questions on our minds. Uh, we are thinking, what are we going to do later? What can happen later? Um, what's uh, I don't for the moment, I don't know exactly. But but uh, for sure, something will happen later, and something will be different. Yes, of course. Is it okay for you? Are you good? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I am. Thank you. Thanks so much. Okay. You look good too, so I guess you are. <laughs> try, try, try our best. Um, I was at the sentimental party in India. Okay, great. We will organize more sentimental party later, for sure, in a different <laughs> places. <laughs> so, Marianne, Marianne, do you want to open the video? Maybe you can ask it online. It's nice, I think. Marianne, no, maybe, yes. Okay, so Marianne is asking a question, Joel. I would like to come back on the impact of this challenging period for Madagascar and more specifically for the most vulnerable people. I believe that art is a basic need. What can we do collectively to fit this need? Wow. It's, um, uh, yes, we can talk. We, 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 it's, it's, it's nice that we talk about Madagascar. Um, well, it's nice. It's not nice. It's, uh, it's important that we talk about Madagascar because, as I said before, and for the one actually we missed at the beginning of this, the discussion, Marianne was asking uh, about the alternative after this, uh, after this crisis. What will be the future? And especially for the artists. And uh, because for the moment there is no vision and there is no, there is no solution. And then I went uh, on, on, uh, on uh, I, I said something like, well, for example, like in Europe, I think things are maybe okay because we have institutions, when we have some few things around, galleries and everything. But then I, take, uh, I took as an example in Madagascar, that, uh, that for example, in Madagascar, we have nothing. Like even like now, uh, they closed everything and, and, and it's more complicated than here. And uh, yes, uh, Marianne, I don't know. Yes, it's it, when when you're asking like uh, if art is a basic uh, is a basic need. And uh, on one side, I want to say like one hundred percent yes, and for sure yes, it's uh, it's important because it's part of the uh, it's part of our life. It's part of our of, of everything. It's it's just. It's just very important to have art like everywhere. And on a, on a, on a little part, on, on, on the right part, I'm, I'm going to say like, well, if someone is dying in Madagascar, and of course we have to build some hospital before, but let's go for it. But maybe we can, we can combine them. Uh, this is maybe the alternative, and it's what I said before, that uh, maybe the combination now is not only like a building a museum, uh, like, a, I don't know, like a 
we're not going to build a museum in Madagascar like right now. Maybe the place now maybe it's going to be an hospital, but with this hospital, we have to think about what is actually the situation of art there or, or a different kind of thing like that. But they are, they are, they are in fact... Uh, oh, yeah, 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 no. yeah. Because I think it's important. Okay, thank you. I don't know if you can hear me. Yes. Very okay, well. so well, it is a wonderful conversation, but uh, I leave, you know, uh, just want to say hi to everybody. It's so wonderful to be connected, to have the feeling of togetherness. And thank you for, uh, you know, organizing this. And I think it's really important in those challenging times. So bye, everybody. I leave, I leave the place to someone else. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you, Marianne. Marianne, to, well, okay, okay. Good. Yeah. No, no, no. I just saying like, uh, to, if you want to, if you want to say something more about this, uh, this, uh, well, the answer that I gave before, I don't know. It's not an answer, but just like, uh, it's nice that you put all of these things on the table. If you want to say something more about this, and um, yeah, does it work? We we, we hear. We can. Ah, uh, you can hear me. Yes. Um, no, I, I, I think that it's, uh, it's difficult to to really develop. It was just an open question and probably a question uh, we have to all think about, you know, how can we feel this basic need that is culture and art in a time where, of course, we have to save life, we have to stay safe, we have to save life and actually to also be in solidarity with the most vulnerable people. But then, uh, we know the challenge now for the galleries, for the artists, for all the independent uh, people working in that sector. And so what can we do now? Uh, can we hack? Can we think about new ways of, you know, providing this access to art and culture? I think I'm going to give, you know, the voice to my friends Mantel Clinic also, because I know that, for example, uh, you just uh, post on Instagram some projects like something about the society. I think it's, it's really interesting uh, from this question. Yes, Nina and Viron. Hello. Do you hear us? Hello. Yes. Yes, very well. Okay. Yeah, actually, uh, we are looking for um, another future, which will be like a second coming of future, where the ex-normal will not be normal anymore. This is what we are trying to tell also from our side to the world, that we think that the normal, that we were saying normal, and everybody today is saying that we want to back to the normal, but the normal was not normal. The wealth equality was not the same, and the rich and poor are growing, you know, the distance growing so high. And as we talk about Madagascar, even sometimes they don't have water, and now we are just talking about how to clean our hands, but they don't have the water. So if we will turn back to the same normal, we don't want to have it. So it's better to collapse what is now and to rebuild something else altogether. So this time maybe it will teach us to be together, to communicate and to find new ways and new sensibilities and create a new trust actually, the new truth, because the truth is collapse also. So this is our idea and what we are really trying to build our idea on. And these times we work more mentally than clinically. So we put our mental projects on recently. Mm -hmm. I, I like the idea when you are saying that uh, to create a new trust because uh, it's, not God, it's not God anymore. I think, you know, the power also is not there. So I think it's very interesting that we think about this idea of a new trust. It can be one of the alternative, Marianne. Yes, great, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, from Olivia, hi, for us working in art, life and work, I, and I love that we have to interact not with, not with our physical selves, but uh, we see each other soon. Yes, of course, we'll see each other soon. So Hal is asking a question. I know about your practice and I see in this new body of work from home, many of your techniques, some of them you left behind on your journey. It's true, yes, as I, as I said before that I left some few things behind, but they are here now. Can you tell us which are these kind of works that you left behind and why you are using them again? Um, yes, it's, it's, you are right, Hal, that I actually, I, I missed some few things, I, I forgot some few things, I, 
I didn't add time. For example, you know, like a painting or making some drawings, I didn't add time for that. So yes, they came back. The drawings, for example, can be, it's a, it's a perfect example. Uh, there is also this word called a few of my favorite things when I'm combining actually different materials found in the different locations, but they are all black. Um, and I think, uh, yes, the, the embroidery thing also, I think it's something that, I, actually I made this, this first experimentation, I think like maybe 10 years ago, then I left them behind. So now they came back again uh, on the table, on my, on, my, on my head. Hello, Annabelle. Annabelle is here. Annabelle is, Annabelle is from Toulouse. Hello. Uh, and Annabelle is saying that I have for a long time a solitude sentimental product. And it has a lot of new meanings today. Well, it's right. It's a little bit dramatic, but it's um, it's true. Yes. That's very that's very interesting. This comment because uh, how do you think? I mean, you have been very consistent in the the twenty years or a little more of your career. How do you, you still do and defend the same concept? You you have grown, but you are very true to yourself as an artist and to your beliefs. How do you think, or how do you feel your work now is uh, perceived or understood? Perception, Sabrina, I don't know. Perception, I don't know. This is not, uh, I'm, I'm not sure that, you know, I'm checking what is the perception of everybody like every day. But I think I'm going back on what Marianne, on, on Marianne's question and also the answer from, from Yasemin and Birol. I'm thinking on this idea of the emotion like since many years. Uh, and I think I'm not working only on it because it's my brief and it's my thing. Uh, it's my body, it's my head, it's my spirit, it's my soul and it's everything. Uh, but I think it's important and it's more than important. Uh, it's, it, for, for like right now, it's really important to put this emotion in the middle because this is the real question. When we're talking about the idea of the, the, the trust, I think it, it belongs to the idea of the emotion. And uh, because we, 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 you know, we, I think we, we, we are go the materiality is so important. So, so maybe we have to work on this idea of uh, non material stuff. Uh, let's work on some, on some, yes, let's work on feelings. Let's, uh, let's, let's work on emotions. Yes, let's work on desire. So, I think, you know, I'm not going to change anything about that because I still believe that it's very important and it's exactly the moment where we have, where we have to put these things on the table. Yes. Other questions? So we have many people. I'm impressed. <laughs> may, I, may I speak? Joanne? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Actually, uh, I'm Timmy, and we talked with Birol before also. Uh, I think the all the uh, objects, artworks, and the things that for your new show now you did is are amazing. But most striking one for us also is the hammer. Yes. Because you, know, you bring the idea of bricolage in a way, and also the, um, how do you say, the, it brings us the idea of difficult times. And Madagascar already knows it. Mm -hmm. And you teach us, you know, how we can really do something at home. So mm -hmm. that, that object, also with the power connotation and also the communism, mm -hmm. you know, it's mm -hmm. really, it's, the object, and I'm so unhappy that we didn't buy it, but maybe <laughs> we can buy your work. <laughs> well, yeah, because we found this object together, <laughs> actually. Uh, yeah, but, and it's made with a different combination of a founded objects, like aluminum yeah. and, uh, I don't know, yeah. copper or something on the other side. But, but for me, in, the, in this period, I think it has, yes, as you said, it has a lot of meanings. We have the bricolage on the other side, and the title of the piece is called uh, uh, Resistance, uh, Resistance yeah. uh, Participation. But yes, yeah. maybe this hammer can save us, or maybe it can kill us, I don't know. This is, yeah. There is also yeah. something like that. Yeah, we are yes. on the cutting edge. So it's, I think it's really great piece to be in this show also. Okay, good. Um, hello, Bruno. Hello, Bruno. Bruno is from, uh, I think Bruno is in Madrid or in, uh, in, in Lisbon. Uh, He's in okay. but, uh, yeah, but originally from Portugal. But right yes. now... Okay. Uh, oh, I have a very interesting question from um, you, from Madagascar. Would you have done the same project if you were confined in another country or the city, maybe in Panama? This is for me, it's a real question. And it's because uh, actually I thought about this like uh, two hours before we, 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 we talked together. Um, 
I think not. Sincerely, I think not. I think it's, uh, well, I, I think I will do the same project. I will, I, from home was, uh, was on my head, and, and as, as I said before, it was, it's part of my practice. But I think the results were totally different. I think totally different. Uh, I don't know what kind of model, but, I, but for sure. And, and, and I'm going back on my practice, you know, from your question, that I think the context is some, something very important. I'm talking about emotion, but I think context is always very important. Madagascar, Antananarivo, Paris, Milan, uh, Madrid, I don't know, different countries. And we all, I'm, I'm, I always have a reaction for that. Yes. Uh, hello, Bruno is in Madrid. The practice in general is always related to the place where you produced. You, yes. you for the Fondation Zinsou, it's uh, one of the exhibition, when, uh, as you know, that uh, moved me the most in, in my life. So the Fondation Zinsou in Benin, you did an exhibition and uh, everything, many of the pieces, in fact, they just disappeared. They, are, they were totally ephemerous. So um, how is your relation? Um, my question is, how do, you, how do you absorb the energy of the place where you produce? Because you did the same in India. You did a wonderful uh, sentimental party uh, with a lot of elements from uh, India. You did it, and you, you do it always. You did uh, in Monaco, uh, also. In Istanbul, <laughs> like everywhere. You know, um, um, it, it's not just, I'm not, I'm not just eating, you know, the context. It's not just, it's more than that. It's, uh, I'm leaving the context. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm taking everything. And more than that, because I'm, I'm taking, you know, some materials. Like, for example, when I was in India, I came back in Paris with like 300 kilos of luggages. And then <laughs> I sent some of them in, in Madagascar. So it's, well, you know, you know, different contexts, different, no, 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 the idea of different contexts doesn't mean anything. But at another context, is always very inspiring, uh, I think. And, uh, and especially when I'm talking about, you know, uh, when I'm saying the city, like uh, when you're in a city, uh, smells is different, food tastes are different, the people are different, languages are different. So yeah, so it's an experimentation. It's also, yeah, it's, well, I, I don't have any answer again, but I think it's just very normal. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something because this is the only good thing like to in a chat that you can smoke. I hope you are not shocked about this. <laughs> Without any room. <laughs> okay, I can do Well, well it, it, I'm not going to perform, but this is a kind of performance. It's a bad performance. <laughs> yeah, for us, it's a it's bad performance. Can you drink? <laughs> what a good uh, drink. Drink? Not drink. Drink? Not drink. <laughs> Nope. Next time, next time, we will organize more. Okay, guys. Okay, do you do you have some questions? Oh, Yanko, please, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> now, there are more dramatic things around the world, sincerely. You know, I, I used to smoke, so seeing this, uh, you know, it's really hard for me. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, I don't know if you have some questions or we can, we can continue talking about the world or about, I don't know. So, so I have a question, in fact, for, for all the, the audience, uh, all the participants, more than audience, that are with us. Uh, I think uh, here we, it, we can only have 100 people, more people also on Facebook following us. Uh, but that, so a question for all of you. Uh, if some of you had the chance to see the, the show uh, from home that is on our website uh, live since uh, a little more than one hour, and uh, if, if someone wants to share his uh, first feeling, I mean, it's really for us the first time we do, um, we have, uh, it's not an experiment because this is something uh, we, we, want, uh, we want to do and, uh, and keep doing. As long as uh, we are confined, then maybe it will take another form when we are allowed to, to go out from home. Uh, but I, I would like really to, to have, in fact, a feedback uh, from you, the visitors of the show, the first visitors of the show. If anyone is, uh, is feeling up to, to share his feeling about the initiative, the show itself. Uh, your, your, your favorite directions uh, your favorite direction on the works also. Not your favorite piece, but the, the, for you, the best direction. It can help me for the future also. 
Well, for mental clinic, they say the hammer. So yes, okay, thank you. <laughs> we share the same idea on this. <laughs> So, Raya. Hello. Okay, well, I will say something. I will say my, my favorite direction is um, uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be a bad gallerist because I don't remember the title. A uh, few of my favorite things. Okay, the black uh, the black combination of different metals. Yeah. Oh, hello, hello Lori. Lori loves the lipstick work. Yeah, the mm -hmm. Chanel one. I love the work with words. Yes, thank you, Virginie. Oh, I, I, there is also one work that I really like uh, with uh, actually the paper magazine with the different letters uh, when it's written and soon great days will come again. I really love this work. Yeah, good choice. The plates, very melancholic. <laughs> oh, the hammer. Natalie loves the hammer. Okay. Yes, <laughs> great. The plates, oh yes, the plates. The plates are very interesting because I had them since, I don't know, since 10 years. Uh, they are actually uh, a porcelain uh, from Avilland, like so hand painted and everything. So they were like in, a, in the backside of my, my storage. So then I found them again. I think they are very sad. Together until the end of the time, yes, of course. <laughs> I hope it will happen to all of us. Yes. The plates, I think the plates are the winner for the moment. <laughs> like four people love the plates. Well, it's, it's a beautiful exhibition anyway. Hello, I really enjoyed going through all the works online, but would really like to see, okay. <laughs> oh, this is very technical. Yes. We would love to also, Shaima. Uh, I, I agree with you. We would love to, but uh, from the gallery, we've been also working from home, in fact. And, <laughs> and we, we don't have, I mean, some of our exhibition before the, lab, the lockdown, you can visit them in 3D. Uh, I mean, literally. Uh, but through that, uh, we've been working uh, very, very fast, and we don't have the tools right now with us to, to make it possible. But I agree with you. We, we, we really hope that the next one will have a little more uh, 360 movement and, uh, but, but I went, see, there is one piece you want to see, I will do it with my iPhone just for you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. A uh, question mm -hmm. for you both, Sabrina and, and Joel. Have you ever done an exhibition in, in such a short period of time? No, never. Never, Virginie. Never. Never. And it was, um, it was, it, it's also, it's, it's also very interesting, actually, um, the, the temporality, you know, for building a show like this, because you, you are not thinking about the space, you're not thinking about, you know, like, uh, have endless and, and, and some other people. Well, sorry for them, it's a little bit complicated. But it's, uh, but it's also interesting to produce actually a, a show in, in, in a very short time because I produce it back in like 10 days, even, even less. So yeah, I love quelques chiffon couteaux en attendant les vrais. Okay, thank you, Ralph. Thank you very much. <laughs> Good. So maybe we can. It, it's uh, it's fine. There no. Question. There is a question. Look, there, there is an interesting question by Virginie. Um, well. for you. Thank you, Shaima, for your uh, very kind words. Um, well, because she's Shaima is saying this has been spectacular. So congratulations, okay. Joel, and thank you, Shaima. Uh, thank for you. you both, Sabrina and Joel, have you ever done an exhibition in such a short period of time? Uh, we did crazy things together. <laughs> but not like this, not like this. Yes, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, uh, India was uh, quite uh, tight also. Uh, the first show we did together, I think it was like a three-week time. It was a long conversation, but I, I don't know if you remember. But the first show we did uh, with Joel, we, we met, uh, in fact, uh, randomly uh, in 2012. And the first show was, I don't remember, it was the end of 2014. Uh, so we, we watched each other during a couple of years before, um, before 
taking uh, before being, being not married but before giving us a kiss uh, as a professional partner <laughs> and <laughs> and um, and in fact I think uh, uh, we proposed Joel to to work together and uh, he said yes and suddenly one of our artists um, had an issue and uh, and could not manage to do a show and we called Joel and I said look uh, we have a slot available I think in one month it was something like that or five weeks and Joel uh, literally made a show uh, in in a very short period of time some works were already there but um, but uh, great works were really built for the show and uh, so yeah I mean Joel has uh, for me this uh, grand capacity of uh, uh, he's very creative and he's uh, never resting. So his mind, he always has tons of projects there in the head. And it's almost uh, sometimes difficult to, 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 follow, to follow him. <laughs> yes, this is, this is the emotion, you know, emotion, you, you, you can't control the, the emotion. A uh, very uh, question from Yanko about actually the, the, the lyrics from Jacques Brel and Ines Simone. Why I chose those two questions? Um, actually, I, I, well, I think you know this uh, this song from Jacques Brel fits perfectly. Uh, it's perfect for the situation right now because uh, you know I think the valves is something that we are turning around. But like from this idea of like turning around, at the end I think we can build something. And it's but but it's not dramatic at a certain point. It's very positive, and it's in it's in French. But it's just saying that actually we can turn around like I don't know like at three three hundred times. But at the end, it's the only moment actually for lovers to create uh, um, a romance. So and then uh, on the other side, I think the song of Nina Simone is just like very positive because it's coming from feeling good. And, uh, but we are feeling good because we are going in another world. We are, we are, we are, we are, we are creating a new world, a new day, a new dawn. So, so I think they are very inspiring. And actually, those songs I was listening, this kind of song when I when I produced the piece, all uh, the pieces also. Uh, and the, and the, the Jacques Brel song it goes faster and faster. Faster so, and faster. It, yeah, and do you feel that that things go for you faster and faster? So, so that there is a moment when you can handle them. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Hal, how long have you been collecting all of these chiffons? Well, many years. I don't know. There is no temporality. There is no precise uh, moment. They are also interesting because some of them actually are coming, you know, from shoppings when you're shopping. And uh, I think uh, my, uh, my, my friends, yes, in Lendirel, can confirm that it's, it was not yesterday. <laughs> it was uh, it like a long time ago. So yeah, they were coming from shopping. So the process started like many, many, long, long time ago. Uh, thank you, Rens, Rens, Sabrina. It ended my uh, pleasure. Okay, uh, I got a question actually uh, from, from here. Uh, Okay, no, no, it's just a compliment that I find very interesting and uh, they will come back later. And uh, it's very, it's very beautiful and very emotional. Wow, I didn't know. So that's interesting actually that if, uh, if those pieces can give emotion, you know, even from a screen, I think it's also interesting that it's working like that. Great. Hello, Bruno, I can see you. Hello. Sabrina? Sabrina? I think hello. Oh, hello, Gabriela. Nice to see you. Sabrina? Okay. So, no, I think, uh, I don't know, I think we have so many questions. Uh, so, I don't know, I think we can, we can close this conversation. Um, so, thank you very much to all of you. Uh, to be to being uh, here with you, I am glad you found the time for that. <laughs> <laughs> we are not working so. anymore. <laughs> no, it's not working. Let me, Joel. You want to say something? No, I want to say thank you to everyone, and I would like to send a little art, but uh, it's I don't know if you can see it. Uh, I made a little drawing. It's very small. Put it again, we cannot see it. 
<laughs> so no, thank you for yeah, thank you for all of you um, uh, for this discussion and for like being with us in this uh, new experimentation um, also. So so I think it's very yeah. It's also very emotional, actually, that even if we are confined and if we are like far from each other, that 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 you know that you still have some friends around the world, and it's uh, and it's nice. And I'm also very happy that you are all feeling good. This is very important, and I hope that uh, you don't have too much drama around you. This is uh, this is important, and uh, yes, I hope we can see each other soon in real. But we can yes. continue. We can make uh, more things like this. Of course. Yes. Well, so thank you very much to everyone. Um, I want to thank also the team of the gallery. I have to say it uh, really because they have been working very, very hard. Um, also, Joel Studio, they have been working very hard to get this, uh, this show live uh, so quickly. And uh, Marta and especially Hal, uh, who is uh, in the back, <laughs> in the back room, uh, chatting with me and sending me a lot of messages. But uh, we have all been working very hard for this project to, to be on. Um, and, uh, and thanks to you, because it, uh, it has, when we put an exhibition in the gallery, if there is no public, there is no meaning to the work we do. So, so thank you to all of you, and if you have comments, uh, critics, uh, things to, that you think you want to share for us to improve because I have the feeling that we will do others <laughs> like that. Please do not hesitate to, to send us uh, an email, a message, whatever you, you feel. Um, we, we're very happy to, to hear and, um, and to improve. So thank you very much. Enjoy the confinement. Uh, find your your magic uh, sentimental product at home um, and uh, to not feel uh, alone. We are not alone. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very much to everyone. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao.